do, 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 do the what. So, since our previously scheduled guest decided to blow us off tonight, we thought that we would check in with one of our previous special guests to see how things were going. It was a little over 10 years ago when we spoke with the recipient of the first successful brain transplant. Now, if you remember, that young man was Clee Ebert Johnson. The doctors at one of the local medical schools performed the first brain transplant on Clee Ebert and he has since made a full recovery. I believe. The procedure apparently doubled the young man's intelligent quotient. He is graduating from high school this spring and we thought we would check in and see how he is doing. Klebert. Klee Ebert Johnson? This is Derry, Queen. Do you remember when we last spoke? Hi, Mr. Queen. It's too great to be able to, to talk with you again. We were wondering how you were getting along and if you were looking forward to graduating from high school and going to college. Well, I am kind of looking forward to graduation, in a way. What are your biggest concerns? I can't wait to be out of here and on my own, but wait. Will I like the food? Who will I my sweet mate be? Will I like them? Will it be harder than like high school? What if I run out of uh, like money? What if I run out of kaka clean clothes? Will I like make it in college? I've got to make it. I know I can do it. Well, I am sure that you will be just fine. Right. Do you know which institution will be fortunate enough to welcome you into their ivory towers of learning? Uh, which college will you be attending next fall semester? My producers tell me that you haven't applied to a college yet. Right. Got any suggestions? I was visiting the University of Missouri at St. Louis during a radio interview at KWMU last year, and I learned about a great residential college right there on campus. I believe it was the Pierre Locke Lee Donners College, and if I remember clearly, they had a great personalized program going on there. If I am not mistaken, they have residential housing options right next door to the residential college where classes are held. You might check it out. Okay, sounds go good. So you will check out the Honors College at the University of Missouri-St. Louis? Tell them I sent you. It's worth, you know, a try. Where do I go? The university is located near Interstate 70 and 1, 70 on Natural Bridge Road and located on the institution's south campus. Well, after tonight, I am sure they will be in touch with you. Wait. My staff is telling me they can be reached on the web at umsl.edu slash divisions slash honors. That's even better. Yes. I'll check or get back with you. We wish you all the best, and good luck to you. It was great talking with you again. So, Tomorrow night, we will be coming to you live, from the beautiful Lily Pond Spa in Palm Springs, with a very special guest, my ex-wife's sister. We will see you then. And good night.